Well, the history of this state and certainly of this city is one of people who have built uh, out of nothing. I remember passing the Murrah building a few minutes before nine o'clock, saw the Ryder truck sitting there, and did not think anything about it. A few minutes later, there was this tremendous explosion. We knew something incomprehensible had occurred. Those 168 chairs outside are not tombstones. They're representative of the lives taken from us too soon. Rebuilding downtown was one of the things we could do, basically, to fight back. One of the things that I would attribute the success of Oklahoma City to is the Urban Land Institute. The Urban Land Institute brought a fabulous team to the city of Oklahoma City. Out of that effort grew a, a terrific report that had some very incisive recommendations about how life and vibrancy might be restored to the core of Oklahoma City. There are a lot of great districts in and around downtown Oklahoma City, Automobile Alley being the old dealer's row from the teens through the 40s. This Memorial District and the Arts District. Those buildings which once went unnoticed are offices, restaurants, bars. We have literally watched the city transform. The vision was backed by commitments, public and private, small and large, ULI, enabled us to shape that vision. Well, my godfather is Jewish. He owned a furniture store here on Broadway. And my godmother's Polish. <laughs> I don't see color, was never raised to see color. All of us bleed red. When you talk about the east side of Buffalo, we have been the forgotten ones. Broadway Fillmore Business District was one of the most hopping business districts in the city of Buffalo. You had all those big, big, huge stores. Every lot on this street had a house on it. We're going through a modest revitalization all over the city, but the east side is probably one of the last places. Some people have called it the last frontier. It is the poorest part of the city. I think they've been uh, neglected over the years. Dozens and dozens of these factory buildings lie in waiting for the next developer, or entrepreneur, or other person with creative ideas ready to tackle uh, a great new opportunity. It's not just the bricks and mortar. Everyone's participating in this process. Right now here on the east side, we've been fighting for the revitalization of Central Terminal because we felt that that will spur investment in our community. The ULI report was a wonderful mechanism for being able to advance the, our restoration efforts here. The powers that be consider our community dead, but it's not. Our time is now. Potential is great, and we should move on it. Con un rototil el mío, empezamos a trabajar la tierra y sacamos un montón de, de basura, se puede decir escombro. Entonces la gente que pasaba, mucha gente me decían que si aquí iba a sembrar o que aquí podía cosechar, le dije, claro que se puede, dice. graffiti around here was horrible. 20 years ago, there was no murals, you know, there was no public art at all. There was a lot that was happening in Denver. Denver was progressing, but there were some neighborhoods that were left behind. ULI, they believed in this vision and said, hey, let us help you draft this vision. Westwood now is in a renaissance. Sí, los cambios que se han visto en, la, en el cambio de carreteras, los cruces para los niños, las escuelas, sus cruces más seguros. Hay mucho, mucho cambio. 
antes, antes de que hiciera este programa aquí, no, yo no miraba ninguna planta de calabaza de... David, ¿me puedes ayudar con mi jardín? No, que okay, vamos. Cosechando su propia comida. Del patio se va a la mesa, él digo, del patio a la mesa. Los cambios que han existido aquí, como la limpieza de los callejones, el Cuatro Vientos. If you go out to Cuatro Vientos Park right now, you see that park packed, full of kids, families, playing, having a good time. Some people will remember where that used to be. It used to be a chop shop, a bar, and a uh, trailer park that had been shut down and abandoned. Magnífico. Ahorita ya veo bastante cambio, bastante, un West Good diferente. Whether it's teaching people how to garden fresh food out of their front yard, putting in new stoplights. To have ULI take a snapshot of Westwood, interview people, just really understand Westwood for who we are. That report, that ULI recommendation has been gold. <laughs>